Hello YouTube, it's Thomas, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than normal, it's not Call of Duty, but uh, today I'm going to be talking about my new YouTube channel, it's called Tech on Sale, and what we're going to do there on that channel is I have an algorithm for uh, Amazon and hopefully other expanding websites that's going to allow me to find things that are on sale and are currently like really on sale, like 40% off and all that good stuff even sometimes even more than that so I will be showing you guys those sales and if you guys are looking for anything like those products I will give you guys the best deals on them so please check out the channel the link is going to be in the description and we'll move on with the video alright so the first product we have is the Samsung 970 Evo 500 gigabyte NVMe PCIe M.2 <laughs> 2280 SSD. It's quite a name, but uh, quite a mouthful. But it is on sale for 40% off, so you should definitely check it out. It's uh, less than half as much as its one terabyte counterpart. It's really, really on sale, so I would definitely go for it if you get the chance. The uh, read speed on it is 35 megabytes per thir sorry 3500 megabytes per second and 2500 megabytes per second write speed that's about four to five times faster than a normal ssd so um, the one i have in my computer right now is about four to five times slower in read and write than this one so that's that that is crazy because mine is a 250 gig one and i got it for 50 bucks so it's about four or five times the performance and twice the storage for not even double the price it's a great deal you guys should definitely check it out the next product is the Elgato Game Capture Card HD 60S. This records 1080p 60 frames per second on PlayStation, Xbox One, Xbox 360. So if you want to be a streamer, YouTube, or anything, you just want to capture your gameplay, this is a really good price. I have the original Elgato, which isn't like an HD 60 anything, it's just the original one, Game Capture HD, I think that's what it was called, and I got it for like $200. And right now this is going for 139 and this is the new edition of it. So you get the better software, just overall better um, product for the money. So this is currently has $40 off, 22% off the original price. So I would definitely check it out. And it works with pretty much uh, middle ground specs for computer wise. And uh, I think it could really record well. And you guys should definitely check it out, especially since it's on sale. The next product is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600 processor with Wraith Stealth Cooler. So this comes with a pretty nice cooler on it, so you don't have to worry about getting any sort of water cooling. This is kind of the bang for your buck CPU. So if you're looking for something in like the 150 range, you're saving some money and you're getting something that performs at that range and it really is a good processor for the money. So you're saving $72.29, it's 36% off, it is a beast of a processor, max clocks at uh, 3.9 gigahertz, 6 cores, 12 threads, it's unlocked, so you can um, overclock it to your heart's content, well, to whatever it takes, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's this, it's $126.71, free shipping, I would definitely hop on it when you can if you're looking to build a PC. This is a, this would be about a mid-tier CPU um, in the at least gaming area, but it'll definitely get stuff done for you, and maybe it'll allow you to spend more on the graphics card, which is more important for gaming. Next is the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X processor with Wraith Prism LED cooler. So this one has a uh, LED strip around the cooler, so you can make yours look cool if you have a uh, side panel a glass uh, side panel on your PC and you really want to show it off this would be a um, a good processor to get because it's just a really it's a really good processor plus you're getting the cooler with it so um, the price is two forty eight twenty nine. dollars 29 is $80 off and 25% off the original price it is 8 cores 16 threads and it's un it's unlocked so that means you can clock it to whatever speed overclock it and the max frequency your mass max boost frequency is 4.3 gigahertz this thing is a powerhouse i would definitely check it out if you're looking for a higher end processor for gaming streaming whatever this will do what you need 
and it's a step up from the previous one here. This is like, this is a big step up from this one. So if you're looking for something a little bit higher tier in the processor game, this is the one for you, especially since it's on sale. So the next one we have is a Samsung SSD 860 EVO, one terabyte uh, SATA 3 internal SSD. This is basically, this is uh, twice the storage of the first product we looked at. This one over here, the Samsung 970 EVO 500 gig, but the read and write speeds are about five to six times slower, maybe, maybe more like five times slower. So overall, the reason why that's, uh, you know, a little bit more per gigabyte is because it is a lot faster. So what I would um, do, if you really need a terabyte of storage, this might be the option for you, um, especially since it's on sale for $70 off and 35% off. It's definitely a really good deal for this one. But if you're looking for that really, really quick boot time, really quick speed, you'll definitely notice the difference if you get this one here. It's, it's really whatever you guys want to do. If you really need the one terabyte, then you get it. If you don't think you need that much storage and you just need 500, then this is definitely a great boot drive. Just make sure you're compatible with uh, this setup here at the front because they are different. But yes, yeah, so this one boasts about 550 on the read, 520 on the write. So that's pretty good speeds. It's about average for SSDs, um, at least SATA, yeah, SATA 3 SSDs. Um, so yeah, that's this. It's on sale, 130 bucks. Check it out. The next two products that I have, we have the SanDisk 1TB Extreme Portable External SSD. So what this thing boasts that it can do is that it's a little bit water resistant, dust resistant, all that good stuff. So if you want one that you might end up traveling with, this might be your best bet. The next one that I have is uh, about the same thing. It's it's, it is the same thing pretty much, but just from a different brand. They're both really good brands. Um, nothing but good reputation for both of them. They're both rated pretty much the same, so <laughs> you know they're good, but they're both external SSDs and they're both portable ones. The difference is this one's a cent cheaper than the other one, <laughs> but they're both um, well off their price tag. If I was gonna get one, if you want a rugged one, I would go with the SanDisk one. They boast about the same read and write speed, so they're practically the same thing. Just this one has a more rugged case and it seems to be more on sale. It's about 51% off. This is like a really good deal if you need a terabyte of external storage. So that's uh, th those are the next two products. On to the next one. So the next product I have here is a Samsung T5 portable SSD, 500 gigabyte edition. So this one is like the little brother <laughs> of uh, this guy over here. So he is $79.99. If you get one of the other colors, they're more expensive. So I would just stick with whichever one's on sale because it really shouldn't matter that much. Getting the best bang for your buck should be your uh, priority. You save $50, 38% off original price. It uh, has a read and write speeds of about 540 megabytes per second. That's pretty good, that's average. Um, but if you're looking for 500 gigabytes of storage and you don't wanna pay for a terabyte, and you don't need a terabyte, then this could be for you. Video editing, all that good stuff, you can do it on here. You know, if you're a photographer, store some stuff on here so you don't have to keep it on your main computer. If you have an SSD that's like fast and you don't wanna fill it up with a bunch of video, pictures, whatever, content creator. This is what a lot of the YouTubers go around with and they carry either this one, probably most likely the one terabyte one because they're dealing with like 4K files and stuff like that. So if you're dealing with 4K, I would go with the one terabyte. But if you're dealing with like 1080p, like what this is recorded in, then um, the 500 gigabytes should be perfectly f fine for that. So that's uh, gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you guys wanna check anything out, the links will be in the description and they are affiliate links. So please use them if you are gonna buy one of these because it does help me out a little bit. Thanks for watching yet again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.